we are talking to pandit ajay chakraborty and as you all know he recently founded shruti nandan a very unique music school in kolkata to i would say to bring a new concept of education in music especially in indian classical music so pandit chakraborty tell me something about uh, your uh, i mean how of course as a renowned teacher i'm pretty sure that you had a lot of student and you have also visited a lot of gurus and that formed the big concept of the school but uh, you claim that this is going to be a very unique concept of education in music so can you tell me what is special about this shruti nandan what is unique about it shruti nandan the name is itself is unique because uh, this name was found after research of 2 years and it was definitely given by almighty god s h r u t i n a n d a n 12 words are 12 12 letters are 12 notes and it starts from sa ends at ni that means starts in do and ends at ti do re mi do re mi fa sol la ti and this whole octave can do miracle of human beings mind and shruti nandan actually the birth of shruti nandan the concept came in, into existence from itc sangeet research academy the premier institution of our country in india and i was teaching there for a long time and i found and there only advanced students are being trained but i thought that if you can't get some child some children and if you can't teach them from the very childhood they, they cannot make themselves up to the standard i uh, one should expect actually to to go to the high standard of musician it needs at least 15 to 20 years practice for that reason i initiated and almighty god helped me and the chief minister of west bengal and the former director from former uh, great person mr shushim mukund dakto they both helped me a lot to give it a shape and at 70 golf club road calcutta the building is made but it's not really a building it's a scientific system of training uh, guruji can you trace on that point that i mean yeah, i i i know that many may found this question may not be at pleasant but when you said that uh, this is going to be really the scientific method of education for music so it apparently looks to me that uh, uh, you probably thought that the the the, the system of education in music that existed in india is not perhaps that scientific to you and that's probably want to bring a great change in that not perhaps actually not there was no other system of training it was training of music was always based on individual training what i i i learned i'm going to teach in the same way so you're saying there was no institutionalization of the music system not at all not at all nowhere first institution was made at 1903 at lahore by vishnu dinambar paraskar ji and he started teaching there according to his uniqueness his strength but i thought that only raga music or only one gharana cannot make a complete musician it's not possible because if you are a computer scientist say for example you must have to know how to appreciate music you, you, you have to know how to appreciate the wave of sea how to appreciate a good flower so it to be to become a complete human being you will have to understand the uniqueness of music in all genres of indian music and not only indian music outside india also there are unique things it should be adopted should be learned by the students and not only that the so, i mean just to uh, you know being your last sentence so you, you want to emphasize that in your newly founded school the students will be exposed to all possible rainbows of indian music yes they are learning they are learning all forms of mu- music and, and you have you have a teacher for different governors then that means no teachers. no all the teachers were teaching there for last 13 years last 14 years they are my student because in no other 
outside teacher can teach there because I give emphasis to six things. Let, it, let me be very frank with you. First thing is voice training, voice culture. How you are going to develop uh, or make your voice unique, number one. Number two, the sense of frequency, notes and the relationship, number two. Number three, how to move in different note, different genres. To sing different kind of songs, you need to move differently. How you can develop that? Number four is lyric. Lyric means sahitya. It's, it's completely directly connected with education. Unless and until you learn the literature, you cannot be a complete musician. Never. Number four. Number five is tala lai. That means the time. Time theory. Time theory, that means how we are taking some time out of this whole universe and how I am going to figure it out and how I am going to use that time in our music. Number five. Number six, sense of respect, sense of belief. How you can develop that through our spiritualism. These six things and for the, the sixth item I was just discussing, I have thought that every single student will have to learn little bit of Veda, Upanishad, Gita and they will have to chant Sanskrit Slokash. By which they will be able to know our country, the tradition of our country. It's not 300, 400 years old country, it's 3,000, 4,000 4, years so old. So according to you, without having proper respect for our tradition, they cannot get trained into our traditional music? Not only music, they cannot know themselves. That is true. It's all self planning process. They cannot know themselves that how beautiful they are. Okay, so you know that's a very interesting point you brought in. So you're telling me that because our Indian philosophy is based on the self-realization, without proper self-realization they cannot go to that depth of music. So even the music needs that kind of realization. Correct. Correct. Without that in-depth, without that vision, you cannot figure out that how you are going to shape yourself how you are going to eliminate your problems and you are trying to adopt good things from everywhere in this world. So Shruti Nandan is a concept, not only school. And I am trying to reach all over the world from the sky because you have brought this benefit to us. So I am trying, I was thinking for last few, two or three years and now with all of your help, maybe I should be able to. So surely, I mean, I think the idea, idea. I think the world is definitely becoming shorter, and using internet now, you can teach to anybody in the world, and that world is coming right now, and it is there itself. But again, uh, going beyond that point, also, I think there will be another last interesting question I want to ask about the Suti Uh so, will you impose certain kind of restriction on your student in participating in reality shows or certain kind of commercial thing that, you know, that you know, some people try to get into out to the public? Initially, I thought to resist them. But every indiv individual being has their own right to test everything. That's why I have stopped telling so, so them, you also don't go. The realization should come from them. Them. Let you go and see how what happens and now for last three four years I opened everybody that you can go and they started going but now almost more than one person student they don't go their guardian comes to me and I ask them what you want exactly from me but I want my son to live in front of your feet forget about music I want them as a good human being. So you kindly accept my boy or my girl to make them good human being through music. Music is the instrument to make them good human being. Thank you. Thank you.